Oh. You sure see him. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Get your ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. For black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is a law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C. Knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the Sheriff's Department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We were gonna turn it over to that attorney. <sighs> then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kinda laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're speckling. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with her mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay, I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case, people's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you ripped Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say, when I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. <clears throat> Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with Ezekiel. Blames herself for what happened. Blame's an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? Yeah, I... I remember Sinclair Parish. 
You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well, that would be the last time anyone ever saw you. They need a place to lay low, send them my way. Look after yourself. Ain't you two a sight to behold? <laughs> yeah, we just a regular old beauty and the beast. Lincoln here is beauty. Name's Miss, but most folks call me MJ. How's the drive in? I've got a warm welcome from the Sinclair Sheriff's Department. Goddamn assholes. Since the uh, thing was EQ, Slim's had them high alert. And when'd you get back? A few months ago. This is my ticket home. Lost part of my stomach? It was about a year ago. Shrapnel? Hugh got hit by an RPG. And next thing I know, I'm on the ground with part of the tail rotor sticking out of me. This helps with the pain. <coughs> God damn. Some of my best work. That cop friend of yours got us a line on our missing folder. Mickey? Yeah. Tommy Slim's got it locked up down at the station. Don't suppose there's an easy way in and out of there? No, not unless you're invisible. Them motherfuckers don't leave much a chance. So I should probably wait until it's dark. Try to get in when most of those assholes have gone home for the day. That's what I was thinking. Slim's a slippery bastard. Unpredictable. So I'm gonna tag along and help keep an eye on things. I'm gonna be waiting for you outside. Appreciate it. And MJ? You might want to get in touch with that cop friend of yours. Tell him to call in sick. Oh, that motherfucker's long gone. <laughs> Let's roll, Roxy. Shit. The folder. Can you grab it from the house? Sure thing. I'll meet you back at Laveau's with it. Oh. That rocks out stings, don't it? Boy, I spent long hours thinking about putting a bullet in your head. But then it can't. Why not hand you over to my friends here? Let them take the time with you. <sighs> Looks like your cracker-ass friends decided to bust out the Halloween costumes, eh, Slim? Ah. Didn't I tell y'all this one was special? <laughs> your people split, boy. Oh, they might have gotten a few witnesses out of St. Clair. But this, this is what's really important. Without it, it's just gonna be the word of some goddamn niggas against the word of a God-fearing white man. After it's all said and done, hell, I'll probably get elected governor. Glad to see you haven't lost your ambition. <laughs> You know what the problem with you people is? You still think you can win. That you got something to win. But it ain't never gonna come to pass. Once a filthy nigga, always a filthy nigga. Go on. Have your fun. Go oh, still, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see you try that again, cocksucker. Don't worry about me, baby. I got the high ground. Y'all get over here. You I get see slim. you. 
Remember, we need him alive. There you go, cocksucker. <laughs> You have the chance.
close enough for me to take the shot. Ain't no more run slim. change begins. Besides, you gotta figure, being a white, racist cop's gonna make you real popular on the cell block. <laughs> nah. I know people. I know powerful people. I ain't mm -hmm. going no... Time we get the hell out of Sinclair Parish. Well, I ain't gonna stop looking for Slim. All the head on to my day. Slim boys is coming up on us. Hey, 
Better when we get Slim Bowman under lock and key. You did real good, Lincoln Clay. Just park us up ahead. That's <laughs> a. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to learn how to duck. <laughs> Beaumont. He's still breathing. His ass is out in the garage. Roxy handled herself all right? <laughs> yeah. She was better than all right. That girl is bad, Laveau. Uh-huh. Well, you did your part. So you gonna stick around? We could use your help. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> You always got a place for the slinking. It was nice seeing you again, Laveau. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to live your life again. Don't forget that. <laughs> 